Scottish Magpie here. I am on a road trip with my husband, Liam, and we are going to Forfar to do some thrifting. Um, I'll show you the road that we're taking. It's so pretty and it's a lovely day. This is such nice countryside. So we'll see when we get there. Certainly was. Let me a good thing. I know they're your size. Oh, a shell for George. It's only 25p. So I just get the Brady's out of the way. <laughs> I can't Top believe we pick. got these. So, Jeremy Scott. These are Jeremy Scott ones. Yeah, I have no idea who that is, but we have got Jeremy Scott. We've got Paris these for Beverly Hills. six pounds, and they are in Liam. These are in such good oh, amazing, condition. Nick. Well, if you look at these shoes, I don't know if I'd wear them more than once. To no, be honest. I know. But they've been worn maybe once with the crease in on the toe. You can get that out with a little bit of. If you put a towel wrapped right around the toe, then you get an iron with a lot of steam. That'll take all that creasing out. You stuff it up with like some socks yeah. to bring out the creases. But if you look at all the stitching, it needs very little cleaning. And this is the hardest part. If you ever see this round the shoe, see how white yeah. that stitching is? You rarely get that. So that means it's been worn next to no times and there's no dirt around the edge. And if you look at the heel, that's it's that's where from yeah. a few hours where, do you know? Six pound guys. Definitely three figures here. And then, um, will we have a look at this, what we think might be off-white. We hope this is off-white. No, the only thing that I'm skeptical about is this label. Uh-huh. But it's got the off-white cross. And yeah. Off-white written all over it. I'm gonna have a look at the inside. What's your stitching like? Nope. No, it's not it real. It's not real. No, that's Made not real. in Turkey. Oh no! If you were to get something like this, it would definitely have another off white tag inside here. And the reason why I thought I'd take a gamble was just because you don't find a lot of off white things in charity shops and it's still tagged. Yeah. Still got the tag on it, so it was brand new, but. Made in Turkey. <laughs> Virgil, who invented this, God rest his soul, would not have got his stuff made in Turkey. It was all made in Italy and in the States. Okay. But it's a nice top anyway. So. Yep. Hubby Definitely will. mine. I'll be rocking Hubby. about like I, I spent £500 on a t shirt. Hubby will keep that one. Made. But these for £6, that's a good, a good little learner right there. So that's us back in the car, that was such a good trip. I think we definitely made um, some good money. Um, 
the shoes, the Adidas shoes. Um, and then um, I love the planter. You know, yeah, the triceratops, triceratops. planter. Um, so we are going to go to our broth now. Yep. On our way to our broth for more thrifting. So I'm having to do a voiceover on um, a lot of the shops because their musics were really loud. Um, uh, in this shop, um, I was just checking out that set there, but it was unmarked. It was lovely though. There was a set of three of these elephants, um, hand painted, but again, quite modern and unmarked. Um, I loved this planter. Um, it was a triceratops dinosaur planter. I thought my son George would love that, so I did. I grabbed that one. And if you can see really up high, that huge platter, I got that. So in this shop, um, initially I just check out the the jewellery. Um, in this trip as a whole, I didn't really get much in the way of jewellery apart from the very first shop where I got the Lucite bangle, which I love. Um, Again, some lovely, interesting, really uh, unique pieces, but uh, just nothing that I see a whole lot of resale value in. Those might have been amber chips there, actually, but I have so much amber. The problem with amber is I tend to keep it as soon as I find it. <laughs> nothing in the cabinet, really, that took my fancy. So I beeline straight for the shelf. It's covered in glass. This does um, remind me of Murano, but I don't think it is. Um, super heavy, lovely, lovely piece. Uh, the base has chips on all four corners. One of them was quite bad, and there was a small chip just at the side as well. Um, and they were asking five ninety nine. You know, maybe if they were asking two ninety nine or three ninety nine, maybe, but. So I was just checking, someone's obviously donated their entire fused glass collection. Um, some of the pieces were absolutely beautiful. I'm not hugely versed in fused glass makers and what's super popular or expensive. So I'm still very much learning 20th century glass. It's such a vast subject. Um, I love Georgian and Victorian, and then now it's the twentieth century. Trying to, trying to learn all. This was a lovely, um, I think, Japanese plate, but um, quite modern. And this is a lovely studio pottery vase, but um, there was no maker's mark on it. This was a little uh, sugar and creamer set. Um, it was really nice. I think they were asking five ninety nine or six ninety nine. Just a bit high. I'm sorry that this is in portrait as well. I just feel like it's an easier way for me for recording going around the shops. It's a less um, obvious way of recording so when I do the thrift with me videos it will probably be in this format these were lovely um there was a set of three they were all 3.99 each though and there was no signature they had a good weight on them uh, but I left those and then this is a lovely cut crystal vintage vase um I didn't see an acid mark it was 5.99 so I left that one. I like this little uh, spaghetti pottery girl. Uh, she was three ninety nine. I have a piece of spaghetti pottery online, so I think if that one shifted, I may have picked this one up, but it's not shifted yet.
That's the Royal Worcester Cup that I've already got. I'm actually looking for all the other farmyard animals. I have the the cockerel. I'm looking for um, some of the other farmyard ones. That's part of the set. This was a lovely candlestick. It was uh, French, but there was only one. Um, and I think they were still asking five ninety nine or six ninety nine for that. The prices were quite high here. It's just a little pot, two ninety nine. It felt more like resin than it did porcelain, to be fair. But I remember this one from the last time. This is massive. Okay, I'll be in here for a while. Tea break. So I didn't find anything in that big one that I have been to. Um, so we come into the next one and I head straight for this glass vase. I like the iridescence of it, but as soon as I picked it up, I realised it was light as a feather. So I put that back on the shelf. Then I picked up this brass um, bird, but again, it was just just not something I, I'm really into reselling. Um, I did like this. This was a lovely music box, and unfortunately, because I've had to mute the sound because of uh, the music um, you can't hear it but it's a lovely music box it works beautifully I love the design um, a nice old sticker on the back so for £3 I thought I could flip that for maybe 20 this is a Crown Devon I did actually I really like this one um, it was £3 but I think I could maybe only get maybe 12 for that so I left that just checking under me I did like this hip flask. I thought it was um, quite unique. I was just checking out um, the transfer print on there. And then I saw this is like a biscuit jar. Um, I'm not very good with the camera, unfortunately. I'm not showing you properly what it is, but I'm showing you how bad the lid is, so I, I put that back. I like this. Um, this was a Japanese art panel. Um, I'll go through it in the whole video in a bit more detail. These are Chinese Tang horses. Um, I would have picked these up if they were in good condition for £4. I thought that was a fair price for a good condition. Um, these are obviously just vintage. These are not from the Tang Dynasty. Uh, but their, chill, their, uh, their tails were chipped. Sorry. They're just vintage ones. But we would still call them the Tang style because that's... That's just their design. But yeah, £4 each for two of them with both broken tails. I thought that was a bit too expensive. I 
That was a Norataki bowl. They were asking five pounds for that. I did like that squirrel bowl in the back, but again, five pounds. And all these figurines were, I think, four ninety nine each as well. So these mudmen, um, I'm reaching up just now to see how much the big one is, um, and it was eighteen pounds. So I put it back. Just scanning over the shelves again, make sure I've not missed anything. This was like a little uh, shelf sitter pussy cat. Um, which was lovely. It was only three pounds, but um, I didn't really know the resale value. Or I wasn't sure. I did like this little um, duck in the basket. A uh, little pot. It was only two pounds. Um, as I peeled the sticker though, I realized the sticker had peeled the original sticker. So I was trying to peel it back just to see what the mark was. And it was Reducta London. Um, and their bigger pieces can actually do quite well. So I thought for two pounds and I could maybe make 14, 16 pounds out of the duck. It was in lovely condition and I, I really liked the glaze and I liked, it was quite well done, so. Yeah, I do pick the duck up. I'm just looking at everything else before I before I decide to grab it. So yeah, I'm actually just speaking to my husband about the duck. <laughs> and then I spot um, another vase. I just quickly want to check. Um, underneath, but there was no mark underneath. I just like the glaze. So I didn't check that glass, that blue glass bowl properly. The one there. It's funny when you look back on the video, you realise what you didn't pick up, just to check over. So in the cabinets, I spot all this glass. Now, you might notice that blue jug underneath. That's um, a Davidson Opaline jug. Um, they were asking 18, and I can only get about 30 for that. So, um, But I did get all of this glass. So I got the two horses, the owl, and um, one of the birds. They were the best condition. They were the heaviest. I felt they were uh, just lovely pieces. So yeah, I was quite happy with my little bundle. Last one of the day. So I'm just standing back and letting my eyes go over everything. Um, let's check out that teapot. These prices are um, like quite high, you know, um, for what things are. There's a Delft piece but it's quite modern. There's a Chinese rice pattern bowl there. Um, again, quite modern and I've had an abundance of that stuff over the years. Um, just check some of the linens and the pillows. Just Everything is uh, all nice. Uh, priced quite high though in this, in this one. So I've just having a little a little dander around um, but I don't think I'm gonna find anything okay so there was nothing in that last charity shop at um, the cat protection so that's us on our way home I think the best find today was our adidas trainers and um, the glass but I'm gonna do a haul video as well from all the finds that we found today so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye!